it's Leanna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Please ignore the bed hair. I literally just woke up. The only thing I've been able to do is brush my teeth and I am pumping. I am using the LV Stride. I've mentioned it before in my past videos, but it's been about three months since I've actually used the Stride. I have been sticking strictly to hand pumping. I used the Medela one. And guys, if you are a breastfeeding or pumping mama, and hand pump is so underrated like go get yourself one I'm gonna talk about it more um I want to do like a six months postpartum slash pumping journey routine video I know I've been talking about that for a while but I just really wanted to get a point um, where I'm really comfortable in my pumping journey to be able to share it with you all and I do feel like I'm already at that point for today's video I figured I could vlog bring you guys with me because today is unfortunately my first day back at work and I have a lot of life updates and it's been a while since I just been able to come on here and talk to you all. So I figured today, you know, it'd be fun to vlog, give life updates. Also today, I will be dropping off Alani with our friend. She's babysitting her. So that's gonna be a little rough for me. It's been almost six months that I've just been with her every day at home. So now, you know, the reality of going back to work and having to drop her off, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm gonna start this video off by getting ready and then again I'm just gonna take you guys with me throughout my day and if that's something you want to see then stick around <gasps> who is that who is that is that you <laughs> yeah someone decided to wake up so now she's gonna be joining me while I'm getting ready I think it's, it's been a while since I've put her on the camera and she's gotten so big, look at her little big eyes. So cute. <laughs> I thought I had a lot more time to get ready than what I actually did so I'm definitely going to have to start waking up earlier and starting my day earlier I gave myself about like 50 minutes to get ready but you know unexpected things happen with babies Alani was asleep when I started getting ready but then she woke up halfway through which really put like a hinder in things because I had to stop what I was doing to attain to her but David came home um, after PT and he helped me a lot with her so that was good. He got like my bags. I have like a little lunch box. I have all of my milk and everything in it and he got that packed for me. So that was nice because I didn't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I am on my way now to bring Alani to the babysitters. Well, our friend. I don't like saying babysitter because it sounds like just a stranger. It's a really close friend of ours. So I'm on my way now to bring Alani there. It's a bittersweet moment. The sun is ridiculously bright right now. So I apologize for that. I'm just so nervous for today. Technically, I'm not even going to work work today. I'm just in processing. But I'm still dropping her off, which makes me so sad. That, you know, like it's reality now. Like I'm... I'm going back to work. I'm going to be doing this every morning now. It sucks. Okay, so I'm almost at our friend's house. And 
and guys I'm like so freaking emotional right now and I'm trying so hard not to show it but oh my god so hard I really wanted to record her like getting out of the car and everything but I don't really think I'm gonna have that much time because I'm running so late so we shall see what I could get oh I'm gonna give her a kiss love you mommy be good she's like be good oh, I'm always good <laughs> guys I don't even know if I have time to like register what's going on right now because I feel like I'm gonna be so late and I hate being I hate being late to stuff like especially on the first day like I'm gonna look so freaking shitty if I am late I mean I still have time but what time is it 8 15 I still have 15 minutes but still oh my god she woke up she was asleep and then she woke up as I was leaving, so I gave her like little kisses and stuff and How do you moms do it? Like let me know those who work Like how do you guys do it because it's so freaking hard just leaving her and it's not even that like I'm dropping her off at daycare because if I was dropping her off at daycare. Oh my god I think I would be like so much worse, but like I'm so happy she's in good hands and we're like so blessed that we have Susie that's our friend who's watching her but oh my god still so hard just dropping her off because I feel like I'm gonna be missing so much she's already starting to um sit up she's not fully sitting up by herself yet but she's like every day she's starting to sit up a little longer than what she was the day prior so soon she's going to be sitting up like unassisted she's like discovering her hands discovering her voice like screaming like this freaking idiot is not even putting his blinkers on what the hell okay it's weird he like pulled over just to be behind me it's weird but anyway yeah so I'm gonna end it here because well not the <laughs> not the vlog just this section because I'm rushing and I feel like I'm just ranting about random stuff so I will up guys I will update you guys later all right guys so I am on my lunch break now I went to the commissary and I picked up some stuff because I didn't pack a lunch with me so I got like this little snack mix it says it's cherry cocoa almond and coconut I've never had this before but it sounds pretty good so I got this and then I got some sushi and commissary has really good sushi don't skip out on commissary sushi it's so good I don't know if you can tell or not but my face is so oily it is so hot here it's like in the 90s it says my car says it's 102 outside ridiculous and obviously it's been a while since I've been in full uniform so I'm definitely feeling it but before I eat I am going to pump I have my pumping stuff with me and I did want to show you guys what I carry with me while I'm on the go so this is the lunchbox I got it off of Amazon I use it to pump I take this with me everywhere especially with this Georgia heat because I do not want Alani's milk getting bad it comes with an ice pack actually it comes with two and you could separate them like this and then put your bottles in the middle obviously i have no milk with me because i gave everything already this morning and then this top portion here you can either put um like your food or your pumping stuff so i have my hand pump with me i don't know what was going on this morning i had like i said i haven't used my lv stride in about three months but for some reason it was not releasing me well i don't know if maybe i had pinched a tube on it or something because one side was fine the other side i was barely getting anything i did have to finish with my hand pump but anyway this is the hand pump that i use it's the medela one so once i'm done pumping i'll just go ahead and put it down here in between the little um ice packs to keep it cold and then i have a ziploc bag with me so if for some reason I'm not somewhere where I can rinse off my 
pump i'll just throw it in the ziploc bag so i'm not getting milk everywhere and then i'll just throw it back in my bag and then i will finish cleaning it when i get home i'm gonna pump eat and just update you guys all at the same time it has been about like five hours since i pumped so the girls are definitely screaming for me to release them they do have places where I could go and pump. Um, I'm just choosing to pump in the car because it's just easier for me right now. I have about like 30 minutes before I have to be at formation. So I figured that's enough time, you know, to just sit down with you guys, catch you up on stuff. I believe the last time I actually like sat down and spoke to you guys and caught you up with everything was in my let's chat video. And I'm just trying to remember everything I spoke about. I know I had mentioned that we were moving and we did move so we're now in georgia i think the last time i posted alani too she was only two months and she's about to be six months on the 20th now so that is also crazy and she's just growing so much she's laughing a lot now she's smiling so much now she is rolling over that's a new milestone we hit um what else is she doing she hasn't started um purees or solids yet i did try well i give her cereal, like baby cereal sometimes i did try giving her bananas my friend said that um well our our kids are only 11 days apart so i asked her like what does she do with her son and then i try to mimic that with alani since he's older than her so she told me that she was giving him like mashed up bananas inside of her cereal and i tried that i did about i think it was like a fourth of a banana that i like mashed up and i mixed into her cereal and milk and it did not sit right with her i felt so bad she seemed to like it um she was actually like trying to feed herself which was so cute and again hitting milestones but it didn't sit right with her stomach so i was downstairs and i was watching tv she was sleeping on the couch and i look over at her it's probably like 11 o'clock at night and i just see her going like and i'm like what the heck is going on so i lift her up and when i lift her up she just starts throwing up and i was like oh my god it was like a bright yellow it was really nasty it was like really phlegmy and i started panicking obviously because it's the first time she's like thrown up with me and then i go and i call her grandma and i'm like she's throwing up at this point she already threw up like three times i'm like it's bright yellow like i don't know if i should take her in if everything is normal poor thing was so tired like even when she was throwing up she wasn't crying or anything she was like falling asleep as she was throwing up so um david's uncle is a doctor so we did a three-way call with his uncle there was also a little bit of blood in her vomit and he said that's normal it's just that the banana didn't sit right with her and just to stay away from it for now that he usually doesn't recommend it until they're like six months she was five months at that point and the next day i had a doctor's appointment so i expressed my concerns to the doctor and the doctor said the same thing so ever since then i have not started her with any type of purees i do plan on doing um homemade baby food sorry i'm so hungry we'll see how um that goes i want to start her off with greens so like green beans peas um and see how she does with that and then i'll eventually move her over onto like yellows so i'll do or like oranges i'll do um carrots and then sweet peas but i have the little the baby um ninja foodie thing i don't know if, no baby nutribullet i have at home so we will be starting that soon she actually turns um six months like less than a week today is the 14th so in what six days she'll be turning six months it's so bittersweet this is just from one side guys like i told you they like needed to be released so having this bag so helpful 
I'll link it below. I don't know if I said that already, but I will link it below. I didn't mention this earlier, but when I had dropped off Alani to Susie's house, I'm just gonna call her by Susie, y'all. Our friend, babysitter, Susie. When I dropped her off at Susie's house, um, I did bring with me um, a bag of frozen milk. So I didn't know this, again, like, as I'm pumping, I'm like learning more stuff, but you should like, how do I explain it? Like use your old milk first and then use your new milk, but you should be like recycling through it. So as I'm like use, as I'm producing fresh milk, instead of me putting it like in the fridge or something, freeze it, move that to the deep freezer and move all the old milk from the deep freezer to thaw and use. Excuse me. Apparently that's how you're supposed to do it. That's not how I really do it. But now that um, she's going to the babysitter, or to Susie's, and um, she needs milk over there, I'm not going to give Susie any of like the fresh milk that I'm producing. I'm just gonna start now giving her all of the old freezer bags and everything that I am pumping fresh, I will be freezing. So I kinda took like a three month break, three, two to three month break off of YouTube because the move was a little stressful um we we're trying to get our house together our old house like everything packed which the movers do the army hires people for them to do which oh my god just like psa the moving company coleman if you're in the military and they try to assign you the moving company coleman no that is like a hard pass these people first of all have like the worst views on google i don't even know why i didn't think about googling them i think again i was just like thinking about everything else i didn't even think about googling them to see it wasn't until after they delivered our stuff and literally punctured a hole in our new house on the wall is when i decided to google them these guys were like so unprofessional they were just talking about drinking going to the club it was only two of them some of the furniture that we had that should have been like a two-person move only one person was doing it they stacked my nightstands on top of each other and one guy tried putting it on a dolly and bringing it up the stairs by himself and my nightstand literally tumbled from the top of the stairs all the way down and now we have a huge hole in our wall and also they didn't even tell me that there was a hole in the wall i definitely heard the nightstand falling but i didn't see the hole until they left dealing with the move dealing with the trying to out process while i was still on maternity leave and then trying to get the house ready so that way whenever we both started work we didn't have to really worry much about the house we are completely unpacked um downstairs for the most part is done there's still stuff that i want to do to it um you know it's just to make it more like homey and cozy but for the most part everything is done i'm starting alani's room right now i'm really excited for her room to be finished to show you guys she does sleep with us we co-sleep don't come at me for it because just don't um it works for us it might not work for everybody and I personally think we both sleep very safe with her in the bed. We have a king size bed. David's literally on one side of the bed. I'm on the other side of the bed. And she has the whole middle to herself. And I feel like if you do it um, safely, it works for you. So it works for us. We're both also light sleepers. And with, you know, having to pump and feed her in the middle of the night, that's just what works for us. Again, so don't come at me about it she does have her own room though even though she's not sleeping in it yet and um our we had two guest rooms at the other house we had a full size and a queen size so we kept a queen size and we have that as our guest room and then the full size i just put for her room because it could double as a guest room since she's not using it right now and even when she does start using it it's too easy for her just to come back into our room and sleep with us for the night or something but i personally just don't find the 
point of having a crib especially when they grow out of it so fast and then converting the crib to the toddler bed to then a twin size to a full size so i'm like she's a princess she can have a full size bed i got her floor bed though so that way when she does start sleeping on it if she does happen to like roll off the bed somehow it's not high it's literally just a mattress on the floor and i got um the house frame like especially if you're like into montessori um you probably know what the house frame bed is i got it off of amazon it was really cheap it was like two something everywhere else that i've been seeing like montessori furniture oh god it's like so ridiculously priced so i will link her bed down below too just in case if you're like interested in wanting to buy it my birthday just passed it was four days ago my best friend came with my sister we were well i was going to do like a whole big birthday party especially since last year i really didn't do much because i was pregnant and now we have the house with the pool but the weather is so bipolar it showed it was supposed to rain the whole week so i was just like i don't want people to come and then it's raining on my actual birthday so i just skipped the birthday party i'm gonna do something for the fourth of july though so i am now officially 28 and i just think like where the hell did my 20s go i know i still have two more years until i'm 30 but i feel like i'm basically 30 already this is my left side i'm not getting anything else out of it so i'm just gonna stop pumping you know we have that one strong boob and then the other one's just like i'm also already starting to plan alani's birthday these six months went by like so i'm pretty sure these next six months are gonna go by fast i'm not sure what theme i'm gonna do yet for sure but i am pretty settled on the theme one groovy baby it's so freaking cute it's like little hippies and like or like hippie style um like the flower headbands the flare jeans or flare pants um like the flower sunglasses tie-dye peace signs little volkswagen stuff i'm trying out photography photography has been something that i've always wanted to do i will like start taking pictures and then i'll kind of get away from it and then go back to it so i'm at that stage right now where i'm going back to it i finally decided to get off of auto mode and shoot on manual and i feel like i've been producing pretty good pictures i'll just post right now just a few of the ones that i took i took pictures of david his brother and then my friend diana and her baby zan which you've if you've guys seen my um first time mom q a she's the one who i did it with but i think that's really all for now as far as updating you guys i'm still gonna take you guys along with me for the rest of the day i just don't want to make this video too long dragging out about just me rambling so I'll see you guys in a few. Hello. <gasps> Hi, is she awake? Yeah, I just finished feeding her baby. <gasps> Cause she's doing well. Say hi, hi mama. mama. Say hi, mommy. Say hi, mommy. Look at kiss. Hi, kisses. <gasps> hi, <gasps> Alani. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Did you have a good first day? <laughs> yeah. 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 So we went for a, a run around the house. She likes it when I do this. Watch. Aww. She's like, what the? <laughs> oh. You? Is that you on the camera? Look, Mama, who is that? Is that Alani? Yeah. So I just got home. It is almost five. So it's been almost five hours since I've last pump again. So I need to pump soon. I like showering first and then pumping, especially when I get home um, from being out all day just to get out of like uniform, to get out of whatever clothes I'm in. And then also the steam from showering just helps like my letdown so much more. Come here. So I'm gonna shower. When I'm done showering, I am going to start cooking. David's at the gym right now. So he should be home soon. I wanna have like food ready. And then once I'm done cooking, just, you know, clean up and then relax for the night and then get ready for tomorrow.
I want to share with you guys a little helpful tip something that helps me especially when I'm by myself and I need to shower so I keep this little chair inside of the bathroom and then I put my iPad on with Hay Bear Sensory. So it's like these little like dancing vegetables and fruits. And she's just occupied by it. I don't like her really watching TV, but I will put Hay Bear Sensory on for her. It's supposed to like help with her vision and you know, it's a sensory type thing. But yeah, look at her. She just chills watching it. Let me get her little face. Hi. <laughs> she's like so focused on it. For dinner, I have mashed potatoes with little steak bites. It was really easy to make a very filling dinner. And then I'm going to have it with my peach mango body armor. And this is supposed to be really good too for like breastfeeding mamas. My camera died on me. So now I'm just trying to end this video on my phone. So yes, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed my first day back at work vlogging. I know when I started this channel, I used to do a lot of military stuff. And then when COVID came, I kind of got away from doing military things. But now that I'm back at work, I think I might bring you guys with me more and show you more of like the military side again. Give this video a thumbs up if you've really enjoyed it. Comment down below any future videos you wanna see. You can reach out to me on Instagram. I'll have my name linked below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like I said, I am going to be doing a huge pumping guide video and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And little secret, it is a pump that I'm gonna give away and some other stuff. So you wanna be subscribed to my channel so that way you guys don't miss it. And until next time, bye guys.